One of the most anticipated VFX software from Jung FX is here. Of course I'm talking about Eelgem, which brought with it some interesting tools and features. So let's see what it got. First of all, Illugen 1.0 introduces a comprehensive node-based workflow that enables creation of both 2D and 3D assets within the same graph. But you might ask, what does that mean? Well, you can build procedural textures, meshes, masks and flow maps in addition to UV distortions and so on. And you can do that all in one tool without switching between Photoshop, Substance, Maya or Houdini for example. This unified system streamlines the pipeline, allowing you as a VFX artist to iterate on both visuals and geometric elements at the same time. And by the way, the release also implements real-time previews at both node and graph levels with dedicated 2D and 3D viewports. You can inspect individual nodes, preview tiling textures, toggle between linear and point filtering, and isolate color channels or alpha channels inside the 2D viewport. If anything, this will help you fine-tune every aspect interactively. And I would say, this is especially useful when designing looping effects or seamless styling textures for in-game use. I also have to mention that Illusion features a built-in animation timeline, supporting keyframes, curve editor control, looping, and repeat markers. Each node parameter can be animated over time, enabling procedural animations from flipbooks, mesh trails, beam effects, smoke loops, and more, without any coding. This flexibility means you can craft dynamic, time-based effects within Illogen, which you can then export as animated assets. So when you're ready, Illogen exports a comprehensive range of VFX-ready formats, square and non-square textures, flow maps, UV distortion maps, flipbooks, conventional 3D meshes, and even mesh flipbooks when each mesh frame is saved with vertex coloring. You see, these exports support major game engines like Unreal, Unity, Godot, and they can integrate easily with Embergen or LiquidGen exports for that matter. This makes Illusion ideal for fast, engine-ready effect iteration. Another important thing that you should know about is that Illusion supports authoring highly varied assets, including tile and noise fields, gradient masks, channel pack noises, beam textures, shock waves, pivot baked meshes and custom RGBA flipbooks. So, as a VFX artist, you can quickly generate modular effects building blocks and rely on procedural parameter variations to produce infinite effect variants, from magical glints to sci-fi energy bursts, that is, without rebuilding from scratch. Also, the developers know that Illusion is probably gonna be integrated or maybe first tested in production, so version 1 is designed with pipeline connection in mind. So direct links to Jungle effects on tools such as Ambergen and LiquidGen have been implemented. Also batch workflows, decoding and re-encoding flipbooks, styling, looping and parameter bound randomization to create variation across multiple assets quickly. And here is the thing, according to the developers, upcoming updates promise even deeper integration with Unreal, Unity and Godot pipelines. In addition to all of this, Illugen 1.0 is built on a GPU accelerated engine that enables complex visual effects and previews in real time. The software taps into modern graphics hardware to ensure high fidelity simulations and procedural generations remain interactive. In fact, the system requirements need at least mid range gaming GPUs, which shows that the software is actually GPU intensive. Another standout capability in Illugen 1.0 is its support for best generation and automated variations of effects. So, as a 3D artist, you can define parameter ranges, for example, random seeds, color shifts, or noise patterns, and let Illogen generate numerous outcome variations from a single node graph. Jung FX CEO Nick Sievert even demonstrated this by showing infinite variations of a magic impact effect. You simply build your graph, set your parameters bounds, and then roll a dice to randomize the result. I want to also mention that Illogen's workflow closely mirrors a modern shader editor, which makes it very intuitive for technical artists. Its node-based interface will feel familiar to users of tools such as Houdini or maybe Substance Designer. And Jungle FX notes, 
Ilgen looks like a shader editor in layout and concept. To streamline the authoring process, Illusion 1.0 introduced artist-friendly UX features, such as a quick note search and smart context wear suggestions. Also, I need to mention that Illusion 1.0 provides a rich library of procedural nodes for node generation and pattern creation, which is crucial for VFX work. Also, the software can produce everything, from tiny noise textures to turbulent fractals, to more specialized maps like flow maps and caustics, all through procedural nodes. This means 3D artists can craft complex animated textures, such as smoke, fire, magic swirls, etc., in addition to masks internally, without needing to jump to external tools for noise or pattern resources. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.